great. What you're watching now is my response to the fourth type of listening that is everybody's favorite, appreciative listening. It may involve marginal listening such as when I turn on the radio and hum with the music, but I may continue doing my work. It may also involve attentive and critical listening such as when I listen to a classical concert, close my eyes and distinguish the different musical instruments and how they are playing their parts in the orchestra. In both situations, I appreciate what I am listening to and enjoy the activity. Can you think of ways by which people practice appreciative listening? sum up what we have learned in this episode. First, we learned that listening is the activity of paying attention to and getting meaning from what people hear. We also learned that people listen to get information, to engage in social rituals, and to enjoy and appreciate what they hear. We looked into the cycle of effective communication where listening plays a major part. And lastly, we learn the differences between and among marginal listening, attentive listening, and critical listening. At the very end of our lesson today, we also gave you a sampling of appreciative listening. And that brings to a close our introductory episode on the subject of listening. We have more exciting lessons ahead of us, and I can hardly wait for the next time we meet. Until then, I'm May Fernandez Legaspi. And although I am on video, I think I can rightfully say this time, happy listening!